I'm gonna give you the five keys so that you can have great success when facing the scariest shot in all of golf. Go in, baby. Oh, look at that. You will do even better. We are out at Scottsdale National here with PXG. So we're using all their gear and stuff and they're letting us film at one of the most, the, it is the most epic short game area I've ever seen. So I, like I'm in heaven right here. So this little shot where you're on a kind of a tighter lie, you gotta go over a bunker and you have like no green to work with. Oh, the last thing you want. And the thing unfortunately we see the most is, you know, that and then you're in the bunker short-sided with no green to work with so it just gets worse but there's there's hope if you do these five things the fear is gone success is right around the corner here you go number one is this it is this you have to open the face of the club you have to okay you got to open it like that much everybody says how much how much you know it's right there you got to open that guy too many people keep it square and you're just gonna hit a lower shot and it's gonna run all the way off the green. So we gotta open that. That's gonna be key number one. You gotta lose the fear of opening the face. That's gonna help you stop that ball. Moving on. Second thing is this, and this might be the hardest for most people to be honest with you, but once you get that face open, we're gonna give you nervous. I guarantee you, you're gonna be nervous. The more pressure uh, we have, the more tense we get. We have to stay relaxed. I just like to get all set, okay? This is what I do. And then I grab the club last. And I really just try to keep shaking it out, keep some motion, and I'm just, you have gotta stay relaxed. This is where you've got to not tense up. You tense up, there's no, no hope. So this has to happen, open the face, and just move, move, move. Stay as relaxed as you can. Okay, here's something that's dramatically going to help as you do this shot. If, when you open that face, if you start manipulating and moving your wrists a lot on your takeaway at all, it's going to destroy everything. So, this is hack motion. This is a hack motion sensor practice with this all the time. It will dramatically help your short game. It's a little sensor you put on your wrist here and it gives you all your wrist motion. That's gonna be critical as you do these types of shots because when you take that club back, if you start rolling your wrists open a lot on the backswing, it's going to mess up your face control. That's important as you come through the shot. So something to check out and consider is Hack Motion Wrist Sensor, link in the video description below. It will revolutionize your ability to control that club face as you practice immediate feedback. So, something to check out as you start tackling these difficult shots. Now that you're relaxed, everything's good, face is open, that ball has to be forward. It has to be forward in your stance. You cannot have success. You back that up, like this, because you think you want to hit the ball before the ground, it's not going to work. You have to have that ball like off the left toe. That's really where you want it, right there. And as we go and you practice, you'll understand why, but just know that you can't even have it too far forward. I know that this seems kind of weird, way out here, but that's better than back. If you make a mistake with ball position, have it way forward here. Because you, you can survive there. You cannot survive doing this and putting it way back here. This is just going to be, that's going to happen when you back that ball up. Okay, the next thing is this, and it makes people nervous. And I, I get it, but it's a must for these short shots. You have to have a longer swing. You cannot do this with a short swing. Just because you have a short shot doesn't mean you want like that because that's what's gonna happen with the short swing. You have to have 
the long swing. It's gotta be up here. At least like shoulder height with your hands. That's what I like. Let that club get way back here. It's going to allow you a lot more touch and flexibility and creativity and feel the longer you do it. Now, one of the problems is as you get longer, people get faster. That's because you're tensing up. That's why you got to stay relaxed. So we got to always stay relaxed. Let that swing be long and slow. Long and slow is the key here. You got to practice that. And there's one more thing that it makes it all get tied together and allows you to have just immense confidence with this type of shot. The final piece is this. You cannot never ever with your short game yank that handle forward. Okay? You cannot do this. When you yank that handle forward, you're pulling this like this and you bring in shank opportunities. We don't want that. And you just erase the opportunity to use the bounce of the club and to hit a high shot. And it forces you to tense up and get too quick. So here's what we do. We take it back long and what we do is don't pull the handle down. Feel the weight of the club head dropping the club down here. And then just get a little rotation at the end. So don't yank the handle. Let this fall down to here and slowly rotate your core. And when you put all those together, it looks like this. And you're able to have a nice, long, soft, fluid swing using the bounce, even though you have one of the scariest shots, if not the scariest shot in all of golf. Even your bad shots will be really good. Practice, it'll pay off. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.